Hey Aquarius, this is Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly love reading. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. Let's see what God Angels Universe has for you. Alright, we have the Hanged Man. I'm hearing inactive and immobile. For some of you, it's almost like you're strategically placing yourself in this state of suspension. Um... What I'm hearing is because you don't want to make a decision. You don't want to. You don't want to make a decision. You don't want to move forward. You don't want to go backwards. Um, it's almost like you're sick of the status quo. So you're remaining suspended. Yeah, boy. Wow. Whew, wow. I wonder if I just spoke that into existence because those cards fell. Just as just as I was saying what I was set talking about, the three of wands, right? You, you, you know you got to go. You know you got to move forward. But you're just so sick of the bullshit. Sick of always having to struggle and fight and defend and be misunderstood. And, and to an extent, it's almost like... You're tired, right? You're tired. What we got? Death card. Nice. Look, the universe is going to force you out. You know, yeah. Mm hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am, Aquarius. The universe is about to force your hand. Card here is upside down prince of swords so that's some type of online behavior whether it's messages text messages messenger online communication online dating hmm with the hanged man and the death card uh, which is Pisces and also Scorpio this is you guys um, it's wanting somebody else to do it for you. Almost like wanting the universe to do it for you. And by golly, Aquarius, the universe is going to do it for you. Okay? This is Pisces and Scorpio, which is a realist, it, it probably the most compatible sign in the Zodiac. So these to me are direct opposites where Scorpio is forever transforming However, Pisces is always um, in a state of duality and suspension. You know what I mean? So it's almost like these are opposites attract. So I kind of feel like, yeah, for in order for you to, be, to get out of this state of suspension, you're going to need somebody to come in and just completely flip you around Aquarius. And by the way, I don't think that's a bad thing for you. I think, again, you don't want to do it yourself because, again, you're tired of the results of when you do it. So it's like, let somebody come in and just do it for me. You have the Knight of Wands and then also the Lovers. The Lovers here with Gemini and this is Fire Energy. Excuse me, which is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So this could be a new love coming in. This will also be a new love going out. You know, this is a strong connection, soulmate, twin flame, whatever have you. Um, somebody who may be highly compatible Look at those people in that card. They're both naked, right? So this could have been a highly um, uh, attractive uh, sex partner, somebody who you were extremely compatible with who could be making a return. Now, by the way, it just hit me that Scorpio, of course, eighth house rulers of sex and transformation. Who else could transform Aquarius out of this suspending energy, out of this suspension, then a Scorpio who's basically coming in to kind of connect to you, almost like uh, um, jumper cables to a car battery, to jumpstart, reignite, and ignite your passions. Holy sh sugar. Okay. Um, this is weird because it's like only the... You know, the Queen of Swords is the master at cutting people out, cutting people away, cut, you know, kind of trimming the fat. 
and with this fire energy here it's almost like okay this he's the master at keeping people away from him because he's battered bruised and hurt you know what i mean so yeah you you both say for instance kind of you put your blocks up and your person kind of cut you cut you off maybe momentarily you know or you they cut you off so that made you put up your blocks or um you might have blocked them you know because they might have come for your throat i'm just saying i'm just reading the cards you know what i mean but it kind of feels like after a while there was a hollow victory like for what we this we did all of this for why for what who who won in this battle you know somebody was being kind of defiant defensive and you know, a little difficult, not ready to let things in, let love in, right? Move ahead kindly. It's like, move forward, please. You know, follow the line, move forward, please. Somebody was like, a no, right? Um, I'll move how I want to move. Just somebody being a little bit difficult and kind of quote unquote out of process. And as a result of that, you know, it's almost like this person, the Scorpio, they broke the pattern. They broke the pattern of whatever this was that you guys had going on that caused some, you know, one person to cut the other one off and then the other person to get defensive and put their guards up. Interesting. This reading is just getting better and better, by the way, Aquarius. Right? And you got the short end of the stick. You being an air sign, right? You got up inside your head. And what's unfortunate is that you fought a battle against yourself and you still freaking lost, Aquarius. What in the hell? It was almost like the only thing you could think of was negative things. You know, oh, this happened, that happened, this happened. That's why they're being like this. And unfortunately, everything was against you. You were the quote unquote victim here. Roles could be reversed too, right? So now what? Are you going to be strong enough to let this person back in? Are you going to be strong enough to reopen your heart and resume with this opposites attract, right? Beauty and the Beast. She is so loving, warm, kind, gentle. He's the king of the goddamn jungle. You know what I mean? So are you going to open yourself back up, open your heart back up for, for that balance to return? Okay. We have the Prince of Swords. And the three of wands and the, you're thinking about it, which, which I love, right? Because although he's thinking, he's looking abroad, he will set himself in motion too. Not only that, but he knows that he has several different options to take, you know, unlike the two of uh, wands where it's like one way or the other. No, the three is like, no, I have opportunity opportunities. I have choices. You see what I mean? I just have to figure out which one I'm going to take. Now, what I'm also getting as well, you have this page of swords here. So there's always the fear of, again, this person coming back in and cutting you off, being nasty, making nasty remarks, you know, kind of not necessarily getting, giving you what it is that you want. But I do kind of feel like Aquarius, you're going to have to take a step to figure out. Let's, let's see. You're going to have, yeah, look, nice. I didn't even know if that was going to be there. I was kind of nervous about pulling it away. But it's almost like you're going to have to take a step to figure out if this is the lie that you're telling yourself, if this is you being inside of your head, or if this person is actually going to uh, reject you and keep you cut off. But you guys saw me pull away and the Prince of Cups appears, right? So unfortunately, um, Aquarius, no, the angels just corrected me. They're like, no. Not unfortunately, Aquarius, this is you thinking that you know what's going to happen, but this is what actually happens, the knight, the, the Prince of Cups. So you think the Prince of Swords is going to show up because, again, you're in your head and you're coming up with the outcome, but at the end of the day, the Prince of Cups shows up. So the only thing you need to do is take the first step. And by the way, Aquarius, it's not even a big fucking step. It's the Three of Wands, right? We're not giving you the eight right? Or 10, you know, we're not saying, Hey, you have all 10, put them down, right? We're not putting you in this challenging position to say, okay, you've been carrying them for so long. Now put them down. Trust me, put them down. No, we're giving you the three of wands, which basically says, do I go left? Do I go right? Or do I go forward? 
You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, all paths are going to lead to the same place, right? Which again, for me is this, this reconnection, this connecting again back to, I feel like, again, it's a Scorpio, could be a Pisces. And again, could be a Gemini as well, right? But you're going to have to take the first step and you're going to have to make the first move. Unfortunately, but fortunately, right? It's unfortunate because it's, scare, it's scary and you think you know what the outcome is, but you'll be surprised as to what's behind door number two. All right, Aquarius, if that resonates, yeah, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed, please subscribe. All right, guys, I love you. I thank you so much. Bye.